Yo, welcome back to another episode of Three Wands. This is a series where we provide the knowledge for you to turn it into wisdom. I'm Lord Shu, and thank you for watching this series. If you are a returning subscriber, please like this video, leave a comment saying what's up, shout somebody out, or just showing love. Also, if you're a new subscriber, please like and subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment. Let me know why you even stumbled across this or how you did. Just let me know what's up. Anything is, is I love to read comments, so anything is cool. Let's do a recap of last episode. Keys to the Island is a lifestyle that me and my cousin created. Compiled information throughout my life that I put together for people to help them out in the processes of life, certain things, information they might not know. And it's taken from real experiences in my life. What started the series officially, like the first official episode after the intro was Focus. So we started with the book of Focus, which is the first chapter in um, the first issue of Hybrid Manual, which is my magazine that you can download for free on shoelovesrebels.com. All the information will be in the description box below, as well as the store where you can order the hard copy directly from me. Or if you want to go to Amazon.com and just type in Hybrid Manual, which is right here on the screen, and Lord Shoe, which is my name, it'll, it should pop up. Um, it'll, it'll look exactly like this. So, let's get into it. We were talking about the book of focus and the first part of focus, which was organization. By organizing your day, organizing your time, you will be able to do more tasks and focus intently on the goals that you set for the day, the week, the month, the year. By breaking down big picture things into very small pieces through organization. So today, we're gonna talk about the next step. If you have the hard copy, just go to the chapter one, which will be right after Shoe Pro LP advertisement, which is my last Half Blood Sultan demo. If you'd like to listen to it, you can check it out on my website, shoelovesrebels.com, okay? Organization was the first step. The second step, and I'ma just read from the, I'ma read directly from the book so we can be super clear. How can one know what to focus on first? So we done organized everything but you still gotta organize properly. When you're doing goals and you're setting them and you are you want to complete them, you have to do hardest to easiest. Honestly, from, from what I've experienced in my life, from the hardest to the easiest, because you tackle the hard stuff first and the, and the rest of it's just gonna be a breeze. The hard one's gonna take more time, so you wanna do that first because it's gonna take up the most time. How can one know what to focus on first? Prioritization. What ways can I prioritize? Make yourself number one. So like I mentioned in the last video, having a self-care routine is, is a part of organization. When you make yourself number one, having a self-care routine is gonna make the rest of your day flow perfectly. But you have to have a routine first. So you gotta organize what your morning routine is and your nighttime routine is. It just makes life easier with when you start the day right, then you got everything flowing perfect, and then you do everything that you're supposed to do, all the goals set throughout the rest of the day, and then you end the night off, you know, with a with a nightly routine that takes care of you and prepares you to go to sleep. Complete your task and goals before lending your attention to others. If you prioritizing the goals, because sometimes you might end up wanting to do something else that's not one of your goals, even though it might be a part of your day. But is it a goal that needs to be completed for the day? Or are you trying to get closer to that weak goal faster? Then you need to prioritize the goals first. Goals, then everything else. Hardest goal, then easier goals. Putting yourself number one, having your morning routine, nighttime routine, so your day flows. They flow into each other. So that block in between, you have to prioritize everything in that, in that small amount of time. Because granted, you might have 24 hours in the day, but between six and eight of them, you're asleep unless you're just uh, trying to be super productive, which I feel like to be the most productive you can be is to get sleep and plan your day in a way where your, your hardest goals get done first and also you're prioritizing your goals over any other tasks that you have going on in the day. And then number three, complete your hardest goals and tasks first. See, I already knew. 
Some told me it was gonna be that. Four hours of focused, laser sharp concentration on something will knock out a week's worth of work. Honestly, I've done it several times. In a week, I have work that I had set out for the week and have it done in one to two days. By doing these methods, identify the steps that will excel your dreams. So if you going into something and it's a broad, you have a broad vision, you know, you haven't really pinpointed the individual steps. You just have a broad vision. I want to do this. You have to first break it down into steps, skill set, resources and network. And I think that's really important for somebody who um, is getting involved in business or just wants to have a good group of people around them to just be successful in general, whether you're in business or just have a, a job and you want to move up the ladder. You want to have good people around you. So and then find freedom within a time slot on your schedule. So the main thing about business is when you start your own business, you become a workaholic because I don't know where people got it in their head that you can do, you know, less time or whatever you want when you start a business. No. If anything, having a job is easier than starting a business. Consistency is like huge when it comes to focus. So when you organize and you prioritize, now you're being consistent. And that's really the, the main pieces of, of all of this. I mean, prioritization is something that most people can say that they're going to do, but it's hard to do once you get up and going because when you're used to like kind of having somebody else tell you to do something, like you go to a job, there's a manager and the manager's like, hey, I need you to do these tasks. Now, if you already kind of like a go-getter on your own and you never really you were the manager or you know whatever then you shouldn't have too many problems but still you got to be even more proactive you have to be manager 2.0 if you're your own boss or if you just want to complete goals in general you have to be your own boss in your mind to keep you consistent and in control of your thoughts in regards to how you move and doing your business or completing your goals so let's recap real quick make yourself number one Complete your tasks and goals before lending your attention to other things. Complete your hardest goals and tasks first. Identify the steps that will help you excel in your dreams. Help excel your dreams, okay? Find freedom within a time slot on your schedule. That's pretty much it for today's video. Please like, leave a comment if this helped you, if y'all liking these videos. Share this video with somebody if you think it'll help them. And also share this channel with somebody who you think it will help. Please, please, please. If you're a new person watching this video, welcome. Thank you for paying attention to the episode if it helped you. And subscribe. Thanks to everybody watching. Much love from Laura Shue. Holla.